Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. In this video today, we're going to briefly discuss um, just matters pertaining to the, the K-1 fiancé visa, but specifically the issue of the 90-day window in the United States. I get this question a lot where basically people say, look, uh, we're going to the United States. What do we have to do after I get my fiancé into the United States with her K his or her K-1? Well, the answer is you need to get married within that time frame and a filing for adjustment of status needs to be undertaken during that time frame as well. Failure to do either of these in the 90-day period um, will result in problems. Um, most notably, the fiancé needs to leave the United States uh, prior to the 90-day mark if marriage is not going to happen or if adjustment of status is not going to get filed. Well, if a marriage has occurred but the 90-day mark is soon on the horizon or it's very quick, it's probably a good idea to contact a legal professional such as ourselves or someone locally in your area in the United States uh, with respect to dealing with the adjustment side. So long as the marriage has occurred, um, there are options with respect to maintaining status in the United States. But if a marriage doesn't occur between the parties, uh, between the petitioner and the beneficiary for the visa within the 90-day time frame, uh, that can be a problem. And basically that individual, the K-1 visa holder, needs to leave the United States or else they'll find themselves in overstay, and overstay can result in later penalties, uh, most notably legal grounds of inadmissibility, that will keep people that will keep that individual from getting back into the United States. So some things to think about with respect to uh, this 90-day period, uh, and some people have certain questions. What happens if I don't want to marry my fiance and I meet someone else in the 90-day period? Um, the 90-day fiance visa is specific to the people, the petitioner and the beneficiary. Um, you can't marry somebody else, in short. Uh, you got to marry the person who you came to the United States in order to marry, who the visa was issued for. Uh, that's a bit of a misconception. It doesn't happen very often, thankfully, but it can. Uh, that being said, uh, the 90-day visa, again, if marriage has occurred within the 90 days, uh, issues surrounding the adjustment of status may be a little bit more flexible, uh, but it's imperative that the couple get married within a 90-day period, um, within that 90-day period of that K-1 visa holder's arrival in the United States.